Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carl. And I'm Rachel Lucas. Violence is an ongoing problem. And today the Virginia Attorney General stopped in Roanoke to talk about solutions alongside state and local leaders. As 10 News reporter McKinley Struther shows us they believe a bipartisan effort is key to saving lives. No secret that crime has spiked across our nation, Virginia included. Our murder rate was the highest it had been in two decades. The concern now bringing state and local leaders to the same table to discuss solutions. The answer lies in collaboration. Scrutiny and accountability for police officers is not a bad thing either, but uh, we have to allow our officers to do their work. We have to give them the resources. We have to give them the training and the support. Attorney General Jason Miares, local law enforcement, as well as former Governor George Allen and current state and local leaders were present for the roundtable Wednesday morning. You have less officers who want to do the job, less officers who want to stay in the job. Uh, and so I think that's had an impact. Roanoke City Police Chief Sam Roman says respect can go a long way. Just the other night, one of our officers were confronted with one of those violent situations in which he had a firearm pointed at him and unfortunately had to discharge his weapon. That is just indicative of the daily risks that our officers take. Roanoke County Police Chief Howard Hall says collaboration is key. Let me be very blunt. The Knights Inn is a filthy pit. Uh, it is rife with prostitution uh, and drug activity. Uh, our police officers, uh, our detectives, the federal agencies literally for years uh, have been responding to issues at that location. Now, we not only uncovered uh, significant drug distribution networks at that location, uh, we uncovered a human trafficking network at that location. Miares added community involvement into the mix. Moreover, he emphatically disapproves of parole and believes some Governor Ralph Northam era laws should be reevaluated. So I think we need to get uh, protection for victim witness. I do think we need to look at, at our, how we quote unquote reformed our bail system that actually makes violent criminals back on the street. I think we need to make sure our officers both through pay and appreciation make it easier to both recruit and retain officers. I think all of those combinations uh, will help and that's something that we're going to I'm sure be discussing in this room. The Attorney General and other leaders continue their Southwest Virginia bus tour heading to Tazewell as their next stop. In Roanoke, I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.